Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to episode 58 of Let's Build Minecraft. I'm here in a snapshot <laughs> mentioning that first because I just loaded it in and I'm not entirely certain how stable it is. I've just been running around right here for a minute and my FPS keeps dropping. So if you notice any drops, that's why. I'm just in the snapshot because we're going to do something a little different today. A bit of a quick episode because I've been pretty busy this week. Lots of studying and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to get out a quick episode today. Uh, but I do want to continue our little story. For those of you that haven't been with us, I guess I can bring us on over. So what I'm doing is that we are uh, making a build out of a story. Having a build follow a storyline. So we have this... Uh, Let's actually go into creative mode because I don't want to spend too long going over this. But we have this this tower here, a watchtower that we made to watch over the hills of this town that you can't see from down there. Just a little bit of protection. And there's a warning tower over here that has been attacked in some sort. And the warning light is on. Last episode we found that there was actually a golem that had been summoned and sent to attack the town and within a chest on his back we found a book and I said that this episode we would get deciphered so that we would know what exactly it said it was some sort of summoning pact well let's go ahead and do that I figured this was mostly an excuse for me to do a little bit of interior work here at the farmers guild so I've already done it. So not a whole lot of building for us today. I have other plans. Hello, close. We go this way. I actually got lost trying to get to the tower in here because it's been a while since I've been in here. Not that long. I, you'd think that I'd know my way around here. Anyways, up here, I've created a bit of a wizard's room and it it's more of, hmm, you could almost say an apothecary. I want it to fit the theme. This is a farming village. Uh, a, a wizard, like, in, in the oldest sense that I can think of it, you know, court wizard, whatever. Doesn't really fit what we're going for. So I picked, made sort of an apothecary home here. Anyways, he did decipher it. And uh, he's helping us figure out the location of the person that sent that, so... Maybe next episode we'll, we'll figure out more about that. But today, I actually want to do some messing around in creative. And now I am in a backup of this world. So any changes that we do today isn't actually going to stay. Everything that I do... Let's get into creative again. Everything that I do is, is uh, temporary. Not going to be here next episode. So I can go over here and knock all these down and uh it's not gonna matter the things that i want to mess with and i suppose i can throw all this stuff away because this is a backup world right uh i still feel i feel like a little nervous doing that i'm just gonna clear off some of these like really renewable things and uh just make some room here the small stacks we can get rid of that's plenty. So for those of you that haven't been following along, and I haven't been following along with the updates in Minecraft, really, but there's been some new building blocks. And if you don't know me, uh, here's your hint. I'm a builder. Uh, I love this little farming village here. Um, there's some new farm uh, building blocks, and before I actually go ahead and use them, before we actually switch into a snapshot into our normal let's play world i want to just kind of test around with how i would use them here so let's see if i can find them i wonder if they're under decoration blocks oh wow okay so there's these terracotta blocks which i actually don't know how you make them let's look at all of them huh let's just go ahead so these things have patterns, and I mm, don't know what their use is. 
Uh, so they're kind of like these textile patterns. They work together. They're very, very vibrant. Very out of place in this game almost. Um, good builders are going to find a good way to use all of these. Um, that's for sure. Let's place all of them. So the first thing that comes to mind for what these are going to be useful for is um, modern builds kind of come to mind. Floors for modern builds. Um, some of these could be useful maybe in like a marble. Let's see if any of these kind of look like a marble. Some of them like these arrows. I don't know how you would ever use that in a build. It looks like it could be used in, you know, the arrows actually used to your advantage. If nothing else, these are more blocks to retexture. I mean, come on. Can't really say no to that. Um, these are not the building blocks I'm most excited about, by the way. So now that I've got these laid out, let's just... I'm laying that out in a 4x4 four four because of the way that they do layer together. So, um, yeah, this one, I don't know what I'd use this one for. It would be very dependent on the color theme that you're working with. Like, that's such a strange. This one almost makes me think that you could use it in some sort of ice detail. The textures don't line up. It's a little strange. Do they line up? No, maybe they're not supposed to. Like, these are all colors that I would use with, like, packed ice, ice, water, blue clay. If you're doing something with that, I can see where that would come in use. This is really bright, almost like, it reminds me of a garden. Both of these do. This almost reminds me of something mossy with vines. If you're doing some sort of jungle build that's overgrown, I bet you could find a good use for this. This, I like the gray with the pink here. This almost looks like a fossil. This one's very interesting. By the way, this is the first time I've seen these. I kind of glanced at them before, but uh, this is the first time I've really taken a good look at them. This could be used as a marble, but I don't know. I don't know if any of these are fitting any of our builds here. I think these are very situational on our builds. There's a little creeper face. That's a little cool. I feel like this could be used. Are these? Wait a minute. <gasps> oh! Ah! Do you see what what what's going on? So like, it's like trees. Oh, how do I get it to? No. Wait. Oh, so it's not like trees. Wait, how did I get them to match up? Did I not? I had those matching. How did I get that to rotate? No, now that rotated. Can I not get a full circle here? I don't know how. Okay, so I don't actually know how they work. But it appears that there's some mechanic for rotating them. This looks like it's supposed to be a sword. This could kind of go cool with some sort of nether theme. The purple. This screams underwater temple to me. As does this. This, again, could go with some sort of mossy. I think that this has potential. They're, they're very odd. I don't know how you make these. But there is more things to look at. Things I'm a little bit more excited for. We could maybe make it, I don't know, a creative challenge to uh, find a good use for all these. Um, clearly, Mojang made these with save toolbars. Oh, that's new, right? Clearly Mojang created these with a purpose in mind. So I don't think that there's anything new here. I don't even know all 
all of the changes that have been made. So that's why I'm kind of looking through. So this must be under building blocks what I'm looking for. And those of you that know what I'm looking for aren't going to be surprised. But some of you that haven't kept up with the news. I feel like Minecraft updates are not nearly as big a news as they used to be. I used to follow them like every note, every change. Now it's like a week has passed and I learned that there's some changes. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. There's concrete and concrete powder. Now the way that you make these I think is sand and gravel and dye. So let's just go ahead and mess around with the concrete powder. And I'm going to do the same thing I think. Let's set it to, to daytime. And we can just kind of place some of these down. That's really bright. This blue is beautiful. Like, there, I mean, this white, blue, hello. There is, like, actually white sand like this, which makes me think that this could go really well in situations like, where do we actually have sand? Mixing sand, like, it almost looks like wool, though, does it not? I feel like you could maybe get away with doing something like that. Maybe. I mean, I'm sure people always do that with all sorts of textures. This blue, like, it's very light colors. So if you're going for, it almost looks like a carpet. You could definitely use these as place of wool, a wool art alternative. Where are these? Get the rest of them on here. Oh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That leaves out a few, but I just kind of want to... I'll just lay them down two at a time. Ooh, this color is beautiful. I really like that. That must be cyan. Yeah, it is. Very beautiful. That's like a great like rug color. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, I think everyone saw that coming when they when they see this block for the first time. Oops. Yeah. Uh Yeah, there's a hole under there, but that's definitely a great use for that one. And uh, this this brown actually. Oops, I just threw it away. I bet this would fit well with dirt. By the way, so I just realized, sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I am kind of losing it, and it gets really deep, I think, when I start losing it. Uh, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ah, I'm going to do this right on this pathway, just like that. You know, we have, like, enough colors in this that... It really doesn't need it, but we have more grays than browns. I love that. This brown's going to be great for pathways. It goes really well with both dirt and the pathway block. Um, so there's some very organic colors right there between those two. Let's go down. And this black is apparently the blackest color that we have in the game. Um, I saw a post on Reddit about it. Let's pull up wool. So there's black wool. Yeah, like, that looks very fabric-y, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what. It just, this looks like a much more natural texture. Red I like a lot. See, now in here, I have a red carpet. Now, I kind of want to do something like this to kind of mix it up. Oops. Ooh, that's a very pretty color. I definitely like that. Too bad that these things do fall. It is sand because these are kind of like wool alternatives, like I said, but you're not going to be able to use them on flags unless you set them on top of something. You can always put a uh, string underneath, I suppose, and no one's ever going to see that unless they're up there. 
Um, the, definitely a lot of a lot of possibilities for these. This could easily go with both of these could easily work with stones, dirt, grass. Um, you know, f pick your color theme. These could definitely fit in anywhere that you would use wool. But maybe you're like me, and wool has always kind of deterred you because of how, like, these high contrast pixels, like right there, kind of just give it a certain look where it looks like wool. And sometimes you don't always want wool, you just want the color. Uh, hello, there's your block. But if you get these, and I kind of wish that I had put them out in a in a two by two now and not stop because I think if you put water over them oops uh, it turns them into concrete let's get my other bucket so the sand let's actually yeah is that gonna work ooh it does so you actually make these uh oh gosh i've made a mess <laughs> uh hold on uh so yeah you actually make these get out of here come on in the powder form and then this is just how you okay apparently this is just not gonna work so something to note it doesn't need to be on top of it it just needs to make contact with the water so I'm seeing these pretty much for the first time as I remove this and I'm pretty excited. These are pretty much alternatives to clay. Now clay is, the way that they got their colors of clay is that they actually like mixed the color of the dye with the clay um no hardened clay where's hardened clay this this brown so that's why they tend to lean more towards that that brownish color and they're not so bright now these on the other hand so they're as far as i can tell almost a solid texture now i don't know how well you can see Ooh, on the black you can really see they're almost a solid texture, but not quite, which is perfect. Now, in comparison, here's clay. You can see the texture a little bit more. Uh, lime is going to go right here. See, big difference there. The gradient that you can make with these, uh, the color gradient, uh, would be such a great transition. Oh, no, that's not what I want. So just looking at these, let's pick up this green. Now, it actually moved, okay. It actually uh, changed the ones I already had down here. But um, if you're going for something, uh, I picked the worst place to try this out. If you're going for some sort of garden look, some sort of forest look, or you're you're working with World Edit where you can change easily change uh, the blocks to be a randomized area or in an area to be randomized to specific blocks. I think you could definitely use grass, powdered uh, concrete and concrete. Some of these colors are so vibrant that they scream accent color to me. This white is so white, which is perfect because before, I wanted wool. I wanted um, white hardened clay. Really isn't white. Snow, quartz. See, we've never had anything quite this nice. That's definitely not white. Now that's very white, and in a lot of cases, I find myself not wanting to use it because it's so white. And um, the thing is, I didn't realize that this was so grayish until I put this down. So unless you have that white to contrast, 
you're not going to really notice. See, now it looks white to me again. I think I put away the snow by accident. So let's pull that up. Yeah, none of that snow texture. Another great, this could even go with stone, I bet. Um, a little too bright for stone, I think. But this, on the other hand, I like that. In fact, I almost want to do this and remove all of these because these have these hard edges on them. And I don't really like it so much. So this might be a change that we make. I don't think I don't think you can go this is one of those things where you can't really go wrong either way. It's just like the ground is so attention grabbing, especially if you're up high, it's like this checker pattern. Um it's just so hard not to see it. When you're walking, not so much. Here. It's it's definitely gonna be a block to use with your stones. Now this yellow is very bright, this blue very bright, cyan, very vibrant colors. If you're doing a jungle build, all of these are gonna be very good, very, very good. Let's actually grab this and this, and let's replace these. So these are flags, so this is okay that they're wool. But I want to see how the colors look because you don't really get that wool texture when you're standing far away. You could even replace some of the wool and have uh, about half of it be wool. I actually think I like wool more for this. That's a very pretty color, but it's not quite doing it for me. On the other hand, in here, I've used clay and wool. Um, I do like... I, I would switch to a darker one. See, this is almost too bright for this build. The inside of this is not supposed to feel that bright. So that's like, I talk a lot about what your eye focuses on on a build. This makes me want to focus my eye straight to there, and that's not necessarily what's supposed to be attention grabbing in here. So in some cases, it seems like these are a little too much. Now I'm going to head over to our jungle village where I think that these are going to be very useful. Okay, here we are, for those of you unfamiliar. This is another one of my projects I'm working on. There's a bit of a temple here. Uh, not so much complete. In fact, I moved on because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. But these are kind of uh, the, uh, the defining things. You know, when I built this little fan here, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I came, now that I come back, I think I do like it. But um, these things are like treehouse yurts. And uh, let's go with concrete. We're going to need the magenta. We're going to need green. And we might need orange. The So the theme of these is that I mix them with very vibrant clay colors. Now, is this too much? For the yellow, I'm going to go with yes, this is too much. See, it's, it's just so bright. Uh, what can I do with this? Um, oh, what if, what if we use the sand? Or this, or this. So this could work. It could work but it doesn't give me the look that I want to go with it. With the hardened clay, it looks like it's some sort of like siding that's been pasted over. Like how uh, people like some houses have like adobes, mud adobes or whatever. They have like uh, mud over 
whatever they use for a base of those houses. That's kind of the look that I went for with this. That I could use. Brown, not a very bright color. That could definitely work. Um, concrete powder. Eh, definitely not. So I think there's a place for all of these items. See, I love this color, so I don't think that this is going to be an upgrade. Definitely not. It's just too much. I think there's definitely a place for these. If you're going for a somewhat... I build in a fairly medieval style where I use lots of neutral tones or I kind of want things to look a little bit grungy. Uh, that's just like... There's a style for this. It's just not one that I have in this world to show off. This just looks so much like grass. That's very, very bright. Let's find this one and this one. That could work. That's not going to work. <laughs> what else do we have? Um, bright, 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 so bright. Mm. So, there, yeah, there's definitely a place for all these. Like, um, it's just kind of going to take the right build style. For me personally, I think that, uh, there's a few of these I can definitely have an immediate use for where I... I don't even need to build anything new where I think that these are going to improve my existing builds. My existing builds needed these in the first place. This, not it. Uh, this, possibly. Not necessarily this house. This house is going to stay with this. But I could use that color on a different house. Because um, ideally, this whole jungle around this temple is going to be covered in these houses. Um... But I, I'm really happy with the these. Uh, just the fact that they're adding building blocks. It's been a really long while since they've added building blocks for us. These things gonna have to like learn. See, I talked about these being used in the jungle. Let's just take a look. What do they look like in trees? So that sticks out quite a bit. I thought maybe it could look like fruit. They don't fit the color of leaves, though. If there's one that fit the color of leaves, obviously there's different color leaves, but... And the leaves change with biomes, so it's hard to exactly say. But if there's one that fit these leaves in particular, I think that would be really useful. I said that they could maybe go with a mossy build. See that? I don't mind that. Like, obviously not right, right there, but those colors. I don't mind those colors. Those, not so much. I have one more thing that I want to check. Over here, where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. For Halloween, specially built a pumpkin house, which I really do love. Let's check out our orange. Let's see, we have the regular concrete. This, I definitely think. Ooh, that's so bright. <laughs> But it's okay. Like, the thing about these, they're so bright that you look at the lanterns and say, okay, lanterns are pretty bright. And then you place these next to it, and you're like, okay, lanterns, not so bright anymore. <laughs> you, know, you know? Like, and that almost looks washed out. But I think it could fit. You know, there's there's so many possibilities. What is this? That is definitely an improvement. I love that. Maybe even, I mean, yeah, with that, but even replacing it possibly. So yeah, very happy with this update. I'm going to have to mess around with these things. Um, I'm going to have to watch some. I haven't watched any YouTubers. By the way, I, I noticed that, I've said this before, I noticed that there's quite a few YouTubers who have, who watch me uh, regularly and you comment, and I appreciate that. I need to find time to watch you guys, um, figure out what you guys are doing, but because I feel bad when I know that you guys are watching. Ooh, it's like a lemon or a lime. See now, how do I get this? 
to make a circle. Is it just random? No, it's not random. But did I not just... See, now that changed. Mm, maybe there's only two. You know, the patterns do, like, intertwine. It's like, it, it does connect. It just won't make a circle for me. See, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I feel like they could definitely have a place in a royal palace type build. Like this one. <laughs> we'll have to see. Maybe this will bring some inspiration to this build. Uh, gosh, they're bright. Like they just draw so much attention. They definitely would need to be used with the intent to draw attention. But yeah, I'm going to have to like do some research. Watch what other people are using them for. Uh, if you guys have any uses for them, let me know. Terracotta. Is that what they're called? Yeah, terracotta blocks especially. I <laughs> I don't know what to do with these guys. Other than like floor designs or something like that. Or like really glamorous walls. But you'd have to be going for it. You can't just place these on any wall. Like if I go into these houses and I uh I open oh hello, sorry. <laughs> uh let's go in here. This is actually a shop. And I just place these down as my wall. See, I mean that's just like so much it grabs so much attention from a mile away. You can be all the way over here and you're like, what's that? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, watching me just kind of figure out what the heck I'm doing here with these blocks. I appreciate it. Um, look forward to more episodes soon. I've just been uh, spending all my free time studying pretty much. And I decided to take about half an hour here to record and I wanted to mess around with this stuff and show you guys, so here it is. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye! What I do, what I do, what I do, what I do.